Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were in the first level, Dwarves Daylight. Hi Beaver, I'll talk to you in a moment. As a reminder, we recently rescued that beaver from a cage. Thank you for saving my life. In return, I'll teach you how to swim with beavers. I'll be waiting for you on the back track. We've got some great prizes for a winner. Use L to move and collect at least 50 coins. If you hold down L and R, you can make a quick turn. Let's get started. Uh, not before I grab this. Okay, do we go automatically? Hey, you had to wait for go. Okay, we want the coins. Not only because we were told to collect the coins. Are we allowed to miss any of them? I'm gonna say, yeah, we're allowed to miss some because we can't actually grab all of them. We also cannot jump in this minigame. Hopefully I don't actually have to beat you and I can just collect 50 coins and that's my victory. This is kind of pretty here. I love the fall aesthetic. Yeah, I might actually beat you. That'd be pretty cool. Wait, what just happened? What I hit? I don't know what I hit. Did I hit the log too hard? Hopefully I didn't lose any coins when I hit that. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that again. You lose. Rabbits aren't a big deal, are you? Rabbits aren't a big deal, are you? You know what? This mini game is reminding me of some of the mini games in Donkey Kong 64. I've already seen some influence in this game from that game, so. Phone call! Spam! I mean, I did pretty well on this. I just. didn't get all the coins. It looked like I actually did lose some coins, but... I can't tell if I really lost a few coins. Okay. Uh, I can't choose to restart. I actually have to dedicate myself to this game, even if I feel like I've already lost. That's kind of a bummer. A retry midway through the race option would have been kind of nice. That was an unfortunate coin to miss there. Oh, come on, really? Oh, that's what happened there. Okay, there's a coin over here, but I wasn't able to get that one. And miss some more. Yeah, I kind of figured I lost. Did better on my first attempt. Okay, gonna try to make... 
Why does that beaver sound sound familiar? Anyway, gonna try to make a better effort to collect as many of the coins as possible. I mean, that's what I needed to do in the first place. Uh, not getting that one. Got that one. Okay. Think I'm doing better. Binked too early there. I think I'm still okay though. I'm not sure how to handle all those coins on top of the waterfall up ahead though. that one again okay don't miss this one never mind I flew over it you know what though I got this I don't got this gosh dang it so yeah definitely avoid the crates whenever possible and yeah, uh, this is about as difficult as the mini games in Donkey Kong 64. There needs to be a little bit more forgiveness for making a couple of mistakes. And also, again, what's the deal with those coins on top of the waterfall? I intend to finish this game 100%, by the way. Obviously going to take some effort, but by golly, I'm going to do it somehow. Ah, I've already lost. For what it's worth, the minigame on its own is kind of fun. Grabbing these coins, getting the burst of speed, traveling through the scenery. It's just not very forgiving. Especially, seriously, you had to push me away from that. I kind of needed that, you know? No, I lost. I mean, nice that I made it through there without taking a hit that time, but... Like, I get so close to winning. Every time I've been within five coins of winning. Okay, so something to keep in mind, by the way... Logs do not cost you coins if you hit them. It remains to be seen if docks can go. Gosh, I just lost. I, I don't think docks can damage you either. Yeah, I've definitely lost now. Every time, I'm within five. Which kind of makes it frustrating because it means every attempt, I'm not actually improving.
No, dogs do not actually damage you. So if I need to ram into the dock to grab the two coins, it will stop me in my tracks, but I can catch up well enough. So far, I've only physically lost to the beaver once. Okay, I might got it this time. Just don't hit these crates here. Ah, finally! Ugh, I lost. And this is the prize. Yeah, gimme. that about teaching me to swim? You're back. Do you want to play again? No more prizes, but I'll be waiting on the track. No, 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 no. thought you said something about teaching me to swim or something. I don't know. At this point, it's been like 20 minutes, so I kind of forget. Okay, so that's an exit. There's still plenty more of this world to go. What is this world called again? Dwarves Daylight. There, let's teleport out. I have not actually found the teleport for that. Okay, I can't remember. Have I found everything up there? No. There was a passage that I opened. Right down here. Okay. Oh, that's right. I hit a thing that caused this bridge to appear. I'm not missing anything over here, am I? Nope. Okay, where am I? I'm up here. Hit this. And... Where was that again? Oh. I'll wait. So Beaver says congrats on beating it. Thanks. I did it. 
Okay. One issue that I'm definitely noticing cropping up a bunch in this game is my jumps being blocked by the corners of walls and ledges. You gotta be wary about making sure your platforming is unobstructed. Because that happens. I'm gonna have to make an extra trip just to land on that coin there. Well, while I'm thinking about it... No, 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 I don't... <sighs> Would've been nice if there was a spring to get me back from here. Okay, let's see if I can do this this time. Assuming I'm going good. You know what? Let me figure out where I'm even going before I try that again. I'm kind of think of it. There's where that one was. So wait. Am I going to have to come back to this level later in order to bash that? Bit, bit, bit. Do the jump. Hop up here. Not actually doing anything there. Wait. Seriously, where is that even t trying to take me? So, spring there, spring there. There's not a spring on that hill there. Maybe that's not where I'm supposed to go. Okay, this is definitely inside it. Oh! I know where that is. It's that. Do I just hop down? I just hop down. Okay. Well, that's actually a lot easier to grab than I thought it was. It definitely helps to know where the carrot was. Maybe there could have been some camera panning point me right the, in the right direction. I thought the carrot was further ahead and I had to try to find my way across the platforms. Just to make sure I did grab this, right? Okay. I already did everything that way. I have not fully explored in this direction. Is there anything behind this waterfall? Oh, this is the entrance. It says, if you want to continue on, uncover the secret of the waterfall basin. Secret of the waterfall basin? That means there's something in the waterfall. Way ahead of you. Okay, so how am I doing in this level as far as totals go? I'm still missing three golden carrots. That's all I'm missing, though. A few golden carrots. How I get them, I'm not really certain. 
Uh, that's just the, the entrance. Okay, so what have I missed? I've missed this. But I don't know how to get in there yet. There is something that I can smash. I haven't figured out how to get through here yet. Obviously, that's an exit only. Can't really tell how I'm supposed to get in there to begin with. I wonder if this is like banjo Tui and some worlds are actually interconnected with each other. It's entirely possible that I come through there from another world. I don't think there's anything up there. So, I think for the time being, I'm pretty much done with this world. I mean, I'm definitely missing some things, but... Well, I know there's at least one thing here that I cannot do until I learn some sort of skill in another world. So... I'm not going to waste my time trying to find things that I may not even be able to access yet. That said, I am able to access the springs now. So let's see real quick what is up here. Where is that? I don't know where that is. Is it across the field? There was something behind a gate over in this direction. Yep, that was it. Well, while I'm thinking about it, I know there is a character that I can access over here now. So, grab these. And... We'll try this one again. And I don't think there were any more springs that I could access yet. I wonder what the deal with that gate is. That might be a place we open up next. Or some other place. Who knows, really. I mean, I'm sure the game creator knows. Me, not so much. That time it was tight, but not bad. Okay, let me take another quick look around here. There's a gate to the right, gate up ahead. Was this covered by a boulder? No. Was this a teleport? It was just a, tele a teleport. Well, I might as well teleport back home. I haven't actually gone inside my house yet. Maybe there's something of interest inside. Maybe some coins. Oh. It's the music box we can use in order to play the soundtracks I bought. So are these all the tracks I can play then? Is this an indication of how many levels there are in this game? If so, there's def definitely plenty of content in this game. Is there a way to select like the underwater version of this song? Guess not. Well, 
I don't know if this game has any sort of auto saving, but I'm gonna go ahead and save and quit here and call it a day here today. So let's see here. First impressions. Honestly, I don't think this game is bad. The issues that I've had so far are primarily issues that I had with the games that this game is emulating. Those platform sections from Mario Sunshine, the coin races in DK64. Hopefully navigation will not become an issue. Once I figured out where everything was in that first level, I was able to not have too much trouble navigating around it. We'll definitely have to wait and see how things go when we unlock the next level next time. So with that said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.